In this video, let's look at how to set up a document for spreads in InDesign. First, let's start with the most common spreads document, which is if we go to File, New Document. I'm going to go to Print, and I'm in the US, we use inches. And I'm going to have Facing Pages turned on. Create. And if we look at our pages and continue to add new pages with the plus sign, you'll see that a spread is being formed here for pages two and three. If we want this to be a multi page spread with multiple panels side by side, we can go to the flyout menu on pages and we're going to deselect allow document pages to shuffle and you can or you don't have to but you can turn off facing pages at this point by going to file document setup facing pages off Nonetheless, whenever you turn off the allowing document pages to shuffle, you can now click on a page and drag it next to another one. So as long as you see this bracket forming, if it's here with a line, it's not going to attach. But you want to make sure it has a little bracket show up and you can order these before or after. So let's say we have four panels here. I'm going to go ahead and create some quick color panels so you can see when we save it. So when we go to export this, file, export, or command E, We save. We can save the spreads all together as a single page by just clicking on spreads. And if I preview it, it's all together. If we needed to add bleed to this document, we would go to File, Document Setup, and under Bleed and Slug, we can add a bleed. Now we'll have to make sure our background goes beyond that bleed. So if you see here, there's a red line or an outline beyond the artboard. So now if we go to File, Export, Change it to print. And we go to marks and bleed. We can turn on document bleed and crop marks. If we go to general. We want to export this as spreads if we want these all together. Otherwise, you can save as pages, and each artboard will save as its own page. And now you can see, if I zoom in, the document has crop marks here and the bleed so that whenever you, the printer trims this out, there will be no white border. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.